Welcome to NYNJPA Weather, your weather source for the Northern Atlantic. I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino, and welcome to the first meteorological day of spring. Now, there's an old saying that when March comes in like a lamb, it can go out like a lion. Well, this time, clearly March has come in like a lamb, with high pressure in control throughout the entire Northern Atlantic. High pressure will be in control for pretty much much, uh, much of this week. Now we do have a cold front and weak disturbance over the northern plains. This will pass through the northern portions of the northern Atlantic like the Hudson Valley and portions of Connecticut uh, late tonight into tomorrow morning. But really this uh, cold front will be moisture starved so only a few additional clouds, no real precipitation whatsoever and not much change in the actual air mass really. We're going to remain near normal to slightly above normal by tomorrow and then on Wednesday, on a Wednesday uh, night into Thursday we get some colder air come in slightly below normal temperatures but the main story here is that from now all the way through Saturday high pressure is going to be in control with very nice weather conditions so uh, it looks like March has definitely started off like a lamb the question is for how long let's take a look at this weekend this is the European model guidance for Saturday evening via the uh, Penn State eWall website. Now notice we have high pressure over the Atlantic so clearly we are in a warm pattern here but we also have a rapidly developing and intensifying area low pressure over the Mississippi River Valley. This low pressure system is going to be able to draw moisture in not only from the Gulf of Mexico but also the tropical Atlantic. So we're dealing with a moisture loaded low pressure system and this is important. Also notice there's a very strong high pressure system over Canada. Why is that important? Well it's going to be feeding this storm with plenty of cold Arctic air. Now this Arctic air is not going to reach the east coast but it is going to have a significant impact on this storm. I'll show you what I mean at 850 millibar. I want you to focus on the Mississippi River Valley and look at the thermal gradient that sets up at the mid-levels. We go basically from around 10 degrees Celsius all the way down to minus 8 degrees Celsius and a little bit further west uh, down to minus 10 degrees Celsius. So we have very very warm air over the Mississippi River Valley and very cold Arctic air over the northern plains. That typically leads to not only a very powerful uh, storm but it also leads to the threat of very heavy rain and severe weather. So it looks like we're going to be dealing with a rather impressive severe weather outbreak this weekend, especially over the Mississippi River Valley and moving east towards much of the southeast and the Ohio Valley. Meanwhile, over the northern Atlantic, you can see it's pretty warm over uh, much of New Jersey, New York City, Philadelphia. Pretty much a very warm atmosphere with also a very moist atmosphere. The relative humidity is at 850 millibars range anywhere from 70 to 90 percent. Now I'm not expecting any rainfall on Saturday, but what I want to point out is that the atmosphere is moisture loaded. And that is going to be very important as we move into Sunday. This is 500 millibars on Sunday night and obviously all our eyes are on the southeast back towards the Ohio Valley. There is a tremendous amount of lifting developing over these locations. Now, Keep an eye on this trough axis. It's from southeast to northwest. That means it's a negatively tilted trough. And that's very important because that means that winds at the upper levels are coming in from the Atlantic. They're moving southeast to northwest. That means a tremendous amount of moisture is being driven, in, driven into the northern Atlantic coast. In addition, there is very strong lifting along the cold front, which I'll show at the surface map in, in a few minutes. And that is a strong indication of potentially strong to severe thunderstorms moving in Monday morning throughout the entire Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area. I'm rather concerned because we have a lot of moisture moving into the region. We have very warm unstable air moving into the region and that is a perfect setup for very heavy downpours, strong to severe thunderstorms and strong wind gusts. Now when we go to look at the mid-level at 850 millibars at the same time we have very warm unstable air over the northern Atlantic. We also have a tremendous thermal gradient with this cold front moving east as this low pressure system moves towards the St. Lawrence River Valley. Now something I'm really going to keep an eye on over the next several days as the models try to handle the storm 
is just how strong is the low level jet at 850 millibars. If we're looking at anywhere from a 50 to 70 knot low level jet, uh, when these thunderstorms start to move into the region, that means wind gusts with this cold front as it's approaching and as it exits could range anywhere from 50 to as high as 75 miles per hour in some of these thunderstorms. So we're going to keep an eye on this setup and exactly see exactly how strong this 850 millibar jet is. But I think Monday morning is going to be a very rough morning for travel uh, with strong to severe thunderstorm. So this low pressure system at the surface moves towards the St. Lawrence River Valley or towards northern Maine. The cold front swings through on Monday morning, but the good news is that after this low pressure system moves through and it's going to be a fast moving low pressure system, high pressure will take control by Monday afternoon and Tuesday looks like a rather nice day, although a bit chilly uh, by a Tuesday afternoon. I expect to have more details on this potential severe event on Monday morning, most likely by this weekend as we get more details on the actual nature of the air mass at the surface. But certainly Monday looks like a very busy day for severe weather, especially in the early to mid-morning hours. Thank you for trusting in NYNJPA Weather as your weather source for the northern Mid-Atlantic. I'm your meteorologist, Stephen D. Martino. Have a great day.